Okay, hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Now, I'm really excited for today's video, and I just want to talk about the grid method and how it's been working for me. Um, now, the grid method is actually really uh, simple to do now if you have Procreate. And I show you a screen recording, and these are two are studies I've done using Procreate, so, and the grid method, and uh, I'm going to show you how to transform it to, uh, in a minute, how it works. But this is using the grid method, and um, I'm liking the results that it has. Um, this is in ballpoint pen. Um, but this is the grid method. This is a free uh, picture, non-copyright uh, picture that I found on Pixabay. And I will explain everything and how you set up your grid and everything on um and procreate and how you can use it um you don't necessarily have to have procreate for the grid method you could always use printer like print it out and then do um the same method that you would do in procreate with pencil and pen um of the grid method and that's a whole different video but this is just a little shortcut if you do have procreate and i thought this was very helpful so um, you see here like the grid and I'm using bigger square because now I'm going to draw the picture a little bit bigger um, for that. So, um, I'm trying to think. I would get the other portrait right now I'm working on, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys the uh, examples that I have here that the portions are getting better and everything. So, um, thanks to the grid method. So that's been really helpful. If you guys like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will definitely show you how you put the grid method on your paper in a few seconds. And let's go to that right now. Okay, hey guys. I just want to make this a little bit quick uh, tutorial on how to use the grid method. Now you want to create the size of the canvas to match your sketchbook or whatever paper you're using. Um, this is very simple, like if you're using 11 by 17, which is very big, you want to have your canvas size uh, to the size of the paper. And when you go to select your image, you want to add image. And I'm just naming my Moleskine size sketchbook. Uh, so I'm going to have to keep creating the same um, image or the same canvas. And I'm just naming that. So... What you want to do, you want to drop your picture, and this is a picture from Pixabay, and free picture, non-copyright picture, and um, you want to throw the grid on Drawing Assist, or I think it's called actually Drawing Guide on it, and you want to change your photo to black and white if you're drawing black and white, but that's just me. Um, but you want to go to drawing guide and there's a grid method on there that you want to do like the grid selection and it's really helpful you can size up your grid however you want it to um if you want to draw a picture bigger have bigger squares or um and i'll show you in a minute how you can transform that to your paper you can also change the color of your grid um to help you with that so i hope you guys enjoyed this mini tutorial I also I will show you how to draw it on your paper. Okay, hey guys, I just want to say you will need a ruler for this method. And when I found this video on YouTube, her method was genius and it really helped me out a lot. Um, but I don't remember who the person was or um, anything like that. But what you do, you basically draw the frame out of what size you want your drawing to be. And there's a lot of mathematical and um, equations and things like that you could do to size it up. But basically, I'm erasing this line because I don't want that. Um, it's not where I want it to be, so. Um, but what I'm trying to say is, for this method to work, uh, I'm basically doing it the size of my paper, if that makes any sense to you guys. Um, drawing the box to pick the size of my paper. So, 
what I'm going to talk about and the procreate, like in the voice over um, part of the video, um, you want to have your size paper and the canvas. Like say this is like five by eight, you'll want to set your canvas up to be five by eight. That is really important. Um, this just saves a lot of time for you and to basically um, be able now the bigger the squares and um, the bigger the drawing will be but uh, I'm just doing what I and basically what I'm trying to say is you want to start a frame um, for your squares and when I was doing the grid method I was doing it all wrong I was like crossing squares like every inch um, and this one really helped me out with proportionate and getting my proportions right, uh, for that matter. So what I want to do to start off with is to have a center line and you can mark each inch or something like that, if that helps you. Um, but what you want to do is mark the center line. Now I do have bigger squares and I like that because I want the bookshare to fill the whole page. Um, but that is just me. Um, so I basically copy the squares I see on my reference. And you can turn your ruler horizontally if that will help you get the proportions better. Um, when it comes to getting your proportions right, um, you want to count how many vertical lines and how many, I can only see one vertical line, but there's like one, two, three, uh, horizontal lines and that usually helps me um, get the proportions right. Now they might not be exactly correct but uh, it's a good start I think. So here's my grid. You saw me do the frame and you saw me uh, basically get the squares um, I guess correct but to match the reference photo um uh, but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i'm gonna go ahead and do the sketch and you want to uh look at each square or you can just like what i do go for the features and do it that way um but whatever works for you works for you and um i just found this method very helpful when i took the skillshare class um i didn't even know that procreate had a grid method um so it could be really helpful for you guys um now when you do it when you print out your reference picture on um on if you don't have procreate if one first thing can print it out mark your grid um on your reference and on your paper um that's a whole different tutorial by itself and i can definitely do that for you guys if you really want me to to print out the reference picture and the size of your sketchbook. Um, but if you do have a bigger sketchbook or if you do have a bigger reference, you can always print um, your reference on two pieces of paper, parts of the, it's the whole ordeal type thing. But I just wanted to go ahead and uh, show you guys this method. It's pretty cool, it saves me a lot of time um, and, and saves a lot of ink as well. I wanted to clarify that a little bit. Um, by using procreate so again if you don't have procreate just print it out and do the reference i keep repeating myself because some of you don't have procreate and i don't want you guys to feel left out so i hope you guys enjoy today's video let's go ahead and get on with the sketching part of the video and hopefully you guys will be uh helped with this video um so i'm gonna stop talking let's get on with it okay hey guys and welcome to the part of the drawing now, I will say this, since I was filming on camera, this is probably not the most accurate I could get to the picture as possible. Like, um, and I kept it real time so you can see how uh, it will do. But basically what you want to do, you want to copy each square. And I usually normally start at the eyes and that's just helpful for me and trying to get the size of the drawing right and everything. But you want to draw each of the squares individually and then it will come out as a drawing and a sketch so uh, I am copying you don't see my iPad but I am copying the picture on my iPad um, this technique was life-changing and because when you normally print out um, pictures or photos or something it has a lot of ink 
and this one's just life changing for me because I was able to draw the grid on the paper and also have it in Procreate. Now, again, I'm not saying you can't do this on printer paper, but or print out your pictures if you want to, just print out the size to your um, drawing. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm going to speed up the rest of the video now so you can have a good length of the video for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, and yes, I learned this technique of taking social share classes and also watching other videos on YouTube. So, um, the grid method, I've done a video before on the grid method. I'm not sure if I'm going to link that. Um, I'm sure it's informative and everything, but I had no idea what I was doing. And, uh, you know, but this one's really helpful for me. Uh, so maybe it will be helpful for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions by any means, leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them and try to get back to every comment. And guys, let me know if you guys like seeing my portraits. Um, I know I've been doing a lot of portraits lately and um, I started the channel trying to get into cartoons. And I still draw cartoons every once in a while. Um, just to have a breather from portraits because they could get very detailed. Um, but if I can do a balance, like I'm thinking my next tutorial is how to draw a frog. Um, so I might be doing that soon. Um, if you guys have any questions, thank you for watching. I'll have, uh, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next video. Bye guys.